You don't know what kind of a partner you have? You cannot say no to your husband, darling. Yes and no, but he also needs to understand. There are days he's off. Why is it a no-no? One, if he has a STI, uh -huh. sexually transmitted infection, mm -hmm. or is even HIV, mm -hmm. it propagates much faster when you're on your menses. Now I didn't know this. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I see you dared to come back, subscribe. And if you have not watched the first video, please do, because you're not ready for what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. Joining me is Dr. Anne Kihara. We've known each other for long. Haven't yeah. seen each other in 10 years. We've picked up like this. May is menstrual hygiene month. Yes. And I've got to have this conversation because I'm tired of not having it. We want to talk about the art of taking care of the vagina. Yes. We've already told you, when you go to the toilet, wipe front, front to, to back. back. But now let's talk about, oh, because I don't do that, I have gone and bought a douche. Mm -hmm. There are women who will swear by douches and you are an OBGYN. Because if I say don't do that stuff, don't introduce foreign substances Precisely. into your vagina for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. I really believe if you don't put it in your mouth, don't put it there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please tell them why. Okay. I think, Caroline, I'll start with what's normal. Mm. The vagina is very well endowed. We know it's not sterile. Yes. But has got bacteria that keep it acidic. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the walls tend to be stuck together. Yes. So if you're standing upright, your walls are actually stuck together. Mm -hmm. So what's the purpose? One, it will not allow you to introduce filth. Oh, number two, the fact that it remains acidic actually is the media that protects it from abnormal bacteria. All right. So that's the first principle. Mm -hmm. Now, when I have girls who douche with all manner of soapy, smelly stuff, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You're killing the bugs that are protecting you. Yes. And a lot of girls, even with the way they douche, they tend to now kind of dilate the opening. All right. So bugs find an Their inlet way in. into you. I'd never thought about that. Thirdly, and I will speak this as I know it. Mm -hmm. Girls even use clots to clean the inside of the vagina. That's a no, 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 no. Why would you do that? Because that's what they know. You scrub the outside of your body, you must scrub the inside of your body. That, okay. It's a basic principle, but it is wrong. Yes. Because you have already but, but been the, given... The, but that area is just too tender... Too, too soft, delicate, too yeah. delicate, to it be, should yeah, actually yeah. be left alone. alone. Yes. At bare minimum, in fact, people say, just use water. Yeah. Just use water. Don't even use soap because some and soaps are And if you're clean and if alkaline. you change your underwear and you make sure that you're not incubating exactly. with tight bikers and God knows what else, it will be fine. It will be well. It will be well. So this is a principle. Number three is the use of rock salt. I know a lot of people no, talk about nonsense. rock salt, rock salt. It's simple. I know why women use it. What happens, salt attracts water. Of course. So what happens when you stick the rock salt into your vagina? You actually dehydrate the cell. It tightens the vagina. And people have this notion that for you to have erotism in a sexual act, mm -hmm. you need to have tauntness and tightness uh -huh. of the vagina. Uh -huh. What they don't know, the principle is the converse. You will eventually dilate. Yes. The blood vessels will come in there. You will lubricate and everything just lets go. Yes. Now, unfortunately, what I can't state that I shouldn't go without stating is the risk of even HIV. So, ladies, what's my message? Clean with plain water. Yes. Let it be. And also drink water. Yes. <laughs> You know, you know, sometimes I, I got to have that over here. Yeah, hydrate. Yeah, exactly. Because also, and you can always tell this, if you don't have enough water, even when you go to the bathroom, your urine stinks. stinks. Exactly. Drink water. Plenty of water. Three liters a day for a normal lady. Yes. Three drink liters. Drink water. Not tea. No. no, Carol, there's a difference between taking tea and drinking plain water. water. But also the other thing I say, um, yeast loves sugar. Yeah. 
Stay away from the sodas. Exactly. Stay. I mean, this is from two biology, if I'm not wrong. That's true. Yeast loves sugar. And you know why we even get more yeast mm -hmm. infections in pregnancy? Mm -hmm. The hormones bring a more sugary environment to incubate your baby. Oh, really? But unfortunately, it sugars everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeast is like, Hi, we have a party. We're teaming here. Yes, we're, we're teaming, teaming here. here. The second thing is when you take antibiotics, you kill off even the protected bacteria. Yes. So a lot of ladies come down and say, you know what? I'm really nagged by mm. this infection. Mm -hmm. It is just temporarily. Yes. Because your body quickly then regenerates that homogenous environment. But I afterwards. remember my mom telling us ages ago that if you are on a on on a you, your usual dose, five days, seven days, mm -hmm. take yogurt. Yes. Drink it. Drink it. Plain yogurt. In fact, there are some communities mm -hmm. that will even douche with yogurt. Yes. It has a principle. Mm -hmm. Yogurt has got lactobacilli, the same yes. bacilli that That's... commonly is the commensal of the vagina. There you go. So, yes. You are only helping yourself. Yes. Now, let's look at blood. Tell because me. we get our menses. Menses is alkaline. Aha. Uh -huh. So, are you then surprised that the environment has changed and we start getting bugs? Yes. Because of your menses. Yes. So ladies, your hygiene becomes extremely, extremely important crucial. when you're menstruating. Precisely. And, and I could be wrong here, but I know that I'm a little more delicate as okay. well. Okay. I'm a little more delicate um, during my menses. True. So I'm gentler with myself. Because exactly. I can feel, I, whether it starts, everybody, you know, no, I, I think, you know, now in my 40s, it do, it's not that bad. But I can remember in your 20s, when honestly, the week before your period, if somebody just brushes, brushes against, your, against, your, against your breast, you're like, what's not it's happening? Just cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I, I learned that yeah. really, no, I need to be handled with care. And I need to handle me with care. Exactly. Yes. Because exactly. I, I am fragile. In all ways. Uh, and even down From there. From the mood to the body yes. to downstairs, everything is so delicate. And yes. I told you, mm -hmm. your immune system goes down. Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is create an environment that's actually going to mess you up. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, Carol, I have problems because there's some girls who say, okay, I have my menses, so I am safe. Therefore, we'll even imbibe in sexual contact uh -huh. during their menstruation. Mm -hmm. Ladies, that's a no-no. You don't know what kind of a partner you have. You cannot say no to your husband, darling. Yes and no, but he also needs to understand. There are days he's off. Yes. Particularly when there's no money jiggling in the bag. <laughs> so let her be for three, five days. You it's know? okay. Yes. You have the rest of the month. Why is it a no-no? One, if he has a STI, uh -huh. sexually transmitted infection, mm -hmm. or is even HIV, mm -hmm. it propagates much faster when you're on your menses. Now, I didn't know this. Okay. It propagates I'm looking faster. for every camera. <laughs> uh -huh. Number two. I told you, even basic yeast infections, uh -huh. you will have that risk. And you know, you know some men have got the jocks infection. Mm -hmm. The jocks infection because their hygiene. In fact, I always tell married ladies who come to my surgery, mm -hmm. please take charge of his inner wear. So that you reduce the load or the risk of you even coming down with the yeast infection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Thirdly, we've talked about the gullibility of the tissues around there. Mm -hmm. So even getting tears in your own tissues, mm -hmm. it's at a higher risk. Yes. Lastly, which I must, 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 must mention. Mm -hmm. STIs are there, sexually transmitted infections. The ones as ladies we should be really worried about, mm -hmm. particularly are three. Gonorrhea, mm -hmm. chlamydia. Mm -hmm. Those two are notorious for subsequent infertility. Yes. But HPV, mm -hmm. which we all now know as yes, ladies, yes. you are increasing the risk of subsequently suffering from cancer of the cervix. the cervix. Yes. So please let's steer clear during our menstrual period when everything seems to be crumbling mm -hmm. and do it when your body is stronger. It is, re is ready. Exactly. But also, um, you know, you talked about uh, gonorrhea and um, chlamydia. As an, uh, chlamydia. I do know that one of the things um, my generation of women probably were exposed to was STIs. STIs were kept being told about them. In yeah. fact, then they used to be called STDs. Yes. It had a big, true. powerful word. Yeah. Younger women, I feel, don't get it. And mm -hmm. I, I saw a documentary by the BBC yeah. um, probably about two months ago about a okay. super strain of gonorrhea. Of gonorrhea. Yes. Yes. That will simply not take any. Yep. Medication. Medication. Yes. Number one mm -hmm. is a discharge that seemingly is not going. 
Aha. So you have a persistent discharge. Mm -hmm. Because we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the normal discharge yes. and what yes. is abnormal. The other thing is ulcerations. Getting ulcerations. Ah. Okay. The other thing is a persistent itch. An itch that seemingly is not going anywhere. anywhere. Recurrent UTIs, you must also rule out sexually transmitted infections. Yeah, you can't just say it's a UTI. You can't just say it's a UTI, go across the uh, counter, burns when I buy an antibiotic and then call it scot-free. Yeah. You know, my pet peeve now, and most people who know me know that I ask one question every yeah. time I meet ladies with those ridiculous talons. How you wipe your ass when exactly. you've got those things? Exactly. And what are they incubating? Put it simply, Carol. Mm -hmm. You have a whitewashed wall. Mm. It gets a crack. Mm -hmm. Is it really whitewashed now? No. No, it has a crack. It has a crack. Now imagine crack, this little things. crack yeah. has got bugs in it. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what girls are doing. So you have the long, long talons, mm -hmm. but you have crevices inside. Yes. Over which here. are just incubating, incubating hell on earth. Yeah. And this is where we even say, if you're going to keep those nails, mm -hmm. you have to have a nail brush. You have to have yes, soap. Yes, you've got to be that and person. And you've got to clean before. Yes, you touch do your yourself. Thing. Then clean after. Yeah. Because honestly, I'm even getting more and more worried when we have to greet one another. Yes. And you have these talons, which some of them are not really hygienically kept. No, Let's be not. honest. They're not. Yeah. Because so, you do them for show. Exactly. Yes. So if you really want to make those icky gooky looks, mm. that's for a season. But yes. If you're going to stay with your acrylics, keep it short and neat. Keep it short and neat. That's it. You heard her. I know you're sitting there seething and you're also sitting there celebrating. <laughs> we never promised at the beginning of this conversation that... Uh, we won't be candid. No, we told you. <laughs> and we're not done yet. When we come back, we're now going to talk about visiting an OBGYN. And I want the moms to come closer. Yeah. And the 20-year-olds who honestly, none of you, if I asked you, give me the number of your OBGYN, you wouldn't be able to give me have it. an OBGYN. Why? Subscribe and come back.